guys welcome back to zmstrategy.com this is Miguel Kamanway and also if you are new to this channel can you click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell for more update uh, below this video so I want to explain to you guys how you can be able to connect your VPX to your phone how you can be able to use your phone as form uh, as form like a system that uh, you are going to upload uh, both your mp5 your mp4 using your mobile phone like this video is, is uh, specifically for those people that does not have laptop doesn't have laptop and uh that they, they, they are finding issue to uh connect their vps so i'm going to explain everything step by step on how you can be able to connect your vps using your mobile phone on how you can be able to uh, upload both your mp4 and your mp5 using your mobile phone as well so firstly what we need we need to uh create a vps account you can see that i've created a vps account which is this you can see that i have up to 10 years vps account which i've created here so firstly you need to have a vps account and the next thing also you also need to have ROD client. You need to have ROD client. The ROD client is a remote desktop. It's a remote desktop that you can use to uh, access uh, things uh, using VPS. Uh, which is the ROD client. is a remote desktop that you can, you can use to remote uh, 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 your VPS using your mobile phone. So that, that is the work of the ROD client, which is a remote desktop. So uh, after after you have installed, uh, to get your ROD client, you just need to come to your Play Store. Uh, you just need to type ROD ROD uh, client into type ROD client and you are going to download Dix. You can see the one I'm using, you can see the one I'm making use of, you can see that ROD client, you can see which is you are going to download Dix one here, which is this one I'm making use of. ROD, ROD I remove Dex to it. This is what you are going to download is a Microsoft co Corporation. So this is what you are going to download. So after you have downloaded your IOD client, the next thing what you also need to download again is for you to download your MT5, either your MP5 or your MT4. It's very easy. How to do that? You can go to Google. You can go to Google or you can easily copy your MT4 or your MT5 into your system. But we can we can also download it using our mobile phone. You can just search on, on the net download mt5 app mt5 app let's see download mt5 dot exe exe stands for uh, system app so exe download mt5 dot exe which is meta trailer 5 or exe so uh, you can go down can click on this uh direct website for mt5 so you don't need to click on uh, on the website so you take you take us to where we can able to download our mt4 you can see download meta meta trailer file for pixie and open a demo account so you can click on here you can see that the mp5 is now downloading you can see it at the bottom the mp5 is now downloading you can see that it has successfully downloaded so you can open you can open you can see that the mp5 is now downloaded so we can go to our, our file manager to check where the mp5 is being downloaded on so go to our phone storage so i think it will be on the download folder let's see i think it will be on the download folder um, um okay here as you can see you can see that it's on the download folder mt5 setup you can see that this is the file uh, that you can able to install on PC, but we cannot install this file on our phone. So uh, we are going to uh, uh, upload, uh, log into our VPS using our ROD client. So after you have, you have successfully download your MT5, all you have copied your MT5 from your system into your computer. Next thing is for you to log in your ROD client. It's for you to log in your ROD client. So after you have done uh, install uh, your uh, your ROD client on your Play Store, you just need to click on Open. You can see as you click it nicely you click on accept so you can see uh, it's only yes nicely you click on this plus icon here plus icon here in order for you to add a desktop so you click on the plus icon so you click on the desktop you click on the desktop here so we'll click on the desktop so honestly uh, you're going to ask us to put our ip address our ip address so we're going to ask us to put our ip address so uh let me go and get my information for my gmail so i'll be right back okay you can see this by login details you can see this my ip address 
this is my username and this is my password you can see here are my login details so what i need to do is to copy my ip address and copy my administrator and copy my password in order for me to log in so i need to copy my ip address so i'll be right back i'll be right back so here is it i've copied my ip address just to paste it here then uh here you can see uh every time so you leave it like that as default you leave all here as default leave all this place at this person next click you click on save you click on save so here is it after you have clicked on save you are going to get something like this so you tap you tap uh this icon you are, you are, you are going to tap this and tap the full uh place there so tap it it's going to uh initiate so you click on you mark this that never acts again so you mark this you can when you click the drop down you leave everything here as default so you click on connect you click on connect you can see now they are going to ask you for your username and password so uh, our username is administrator but let me just copy and paste so i will write back okay yes as you can see that i've uh, copied my username and also uh, copy my password as well so nextly make sure that you mark here to save your uh, details which is to store your username and your password so that it will not going to be asking you every, every time that you want to log in so we'll mark this place then we click on connect we click on connect and see that is now initiating remote connection is now initiating your yeah, remote connection you can see that uh it have login you can see that our uh uh our uh vps have been logging using our phone you can see that now our phone is now working as a system by default you can see that by, by default uh mp5 uh, uh was also installed by default was also installed on the uh on the uh, vps there's the mp5 which uh, follow the vpx so by default at which maybe uh maybe for example there was no mp5 Maybe there was no MP5 that uh, did follow the VPS. We can copy uh, the one that we have uh, download and upload it here. I've uploaded it here. So let's go and access our phone storage. So you can see just for you to drag this arrow down. So we tap on this file. You double tap your screen. And you can see that our phone storage is not showing. Our phone storage is not showing now. We need to enable our phone storage. So what we need to do is for uh, we to tap this place here. So we tap it. So we click on uh, click on uh, we click on home. We click on home. So click on home. Then we we'll go back. So nextly we're going to tap here. In, in order for, in order for the VPS to be seen our phone storage, we enter edit. So click on edit. So for edit, we uh, click on show additional option here. So we we'll click here, then we're going to enable uh, uh, local storage. So we enable the local storage, then allow, then we we'll click on save. Then we'll go back, so we we'll tap it back. It's going, it's going to now initiate our our, uh, our phone storage. So let's click on the XPC. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, okay, look like we, we need to close the VPS and open again. So we'll close, close the VPS, click on this console, then open again. It's not going to, I can see, it's not going to uh, initiate our local storage. And we are still going to mark here as well. So we'll mark this place, then we'll click on never ask again for connection to this PC. So we'll click on continue. It's not going to initiate our local storage. It's not going to initiate our local storage. Okay, let's see. It's not going to initiate our local storage. It's not still working. Uh, let's see. It's not still working. Let me close this and open back. It's going to initiate our local storage. You can see here is it. It is uh, it, uh, it has successfully initiate our Android local storage. So we are going to double click on this. It's going to open our Android file. You can see it's going to open our Android file, which is our folder, our, our storage. It's going to open. The storage on our Android phone, so we can easily copy the VPN, uh, the empty file that we download. So we we'll just come to download here. So you come to download, double click it. Just it's very easy, it's very easy, very easy. So you can see, uh, it's loading all our file on the download folder. It's loading all the file on the download on on, on the download folder. Yeah, can, you can see that now your phone is working as a system. This is sweet man. This is very sweet. Your phone is working as a system so uh, where is the mt5 where is the mt5 where is the mt5 is on this plane 
Oh, let's see. Let's let's wait for all the folder to load finish. Uh so let's go to download uh download again. We're going to download the MT5 should be here because uh, this way uh we download the MT5 on so it's supposed to be here. So um uh, the MT5 is not still showing here. So what we can do again, let's copy the MD5 to another folder. So we are going to minimize our phone as usual, minimize our phone. Then uh minimize our phone. So let's copy this uh MD5 to a separate folder. Let's copy to a separate folder. Let's put it at uh uh or let's create a new folder and put new new app new app so we have, we have created a new folder and we have put, we store it a new app so let's copy the mt5 there so we can go back and go to the new app you can see here the file so let's go back to our vpx and see if if it's going to locate that new app so uh so let's wait for it to load all our file again so let's wait for it to load our file again. So let's see if it's going to see the new app folder that we created. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we're going to see the new app folder that we created. It's not still showing. Yes, it yes yes is the folder. So we, we double click on the folder. You can see here is the empty five. So we can you can. Tap it and drag it to your screen, or uh, less we can also uh, uh, let's copy it by using. Uh, let's see if, if if we can use keyboard to do control and P. So here is the folder. Here is it. It already marked. We can click on control. Uh, control C. Let's see if it's going to work. Control C. Let's see if it's going to work like our system. So we touch here, and uh, let's type control P if it's going to paste. Uh, it did not work or did not work, it did not work. So, what are we going to do? Control P it did not work, it did not work as our system. So, we can install it directly. We can install it directly. So, what, what, what you need to do is just tap it. You can install the MD5 directly here. So, you can just tap it, double tap it. So, it's going to install directly. But if you can able to use your mouse, if you can able to use your mouse by using your uh, your uh, OTG and connect your mouse, you can able to copy and paste. You can able to copy and paste. You can able to copy and paste by using your mouse. So let's wait for it to load. Let's wait for MD5 to install and load. So it's it's, it's uh, processing. So it's going to install on the system, and we are still going to log in our. Uh, our 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 derive account or any broker account which we want to make use of. So uh, let's wait for the MT5 to install. Let's wait for the MT5 to install. So uh I uh, think uh I'll just need to pause the video so that it will not be very long. Then immediately uh, the app have pump pump out. I will resume the video back so that it will not be very long. So I'll be right back. Okay, yes, yeah, you can see that. I uh, can see as yes, it is down. Uh, pump it here. So we click on it. Uh, we, as usual, way. So we next, we next, we next. So you can see it's now installing. It's now installing on our, uh, on our desktop, on our system. It's now installing on our disk, on, on our system. You can see that our phone is now working like a system, man. That is great, man. You can see that with your phone, you can be able to do anything that you wishes to do. You can use your phone, you can be able to do anything that you wishes to do, man. You can see that it's done installing. Uh, the MP5 is done installing. We are making use of our phone, and that is great. It's now installing. It's now installing. So we can decide to uh, minimize this folder or we can just leave it. So after this, I'm going to show you how you can also uh, uh, download the, uh, the robot and upload the robot into your uh your um uh, mp5 as well and we are still going to log in our account also so i'm going to explain that on the of on the previous on the next video uh so immediately the mp5 has uh 
is now installed so okay you can see that congratulations we have we are we are waiting for you so we'll click on finish so click on finish so we'll click on finish and see the mp5 will be successfully installed so you can close this folder so you can see that the mp5 has successfully installed here yeah, so it's going to pop out it's going to load it's going to load it's going to pop out so let's wait for it to load it's going to pop out so let's double click so it's going to load it's going to load me i can see that it's very fast you can see that our, our phone is very fast it's not something that is slow you can see it's very fast it's very fast man it's not something that is slow it's very fast so it's loading the md5 is loading so it's loading so let's we also need to have a little patient you can see uh it's have open so you can just open uh any of the dst as usual you can see as it so you can see that everything have uh low so now on, on, on the next video i'm going to explain to you how you can able to log in your uh your account is very easy it's also, it's also the same process as well i can be able to log in your account your either any of your book account and also how to upload the robot so on, I'll, I'll still going to explain to you how to download the robot as well so everything you're going to explain on the next video and remember do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so bye for now i'll see you guys my next video so bye